back on the morning brew, and this is great because we've got John San Nicholas and Celia Schaefer in this morning, and you guys are in the new show Disgraced at Fusion Theater. And I love this. I don't think a lot of people realize it, but Fusion is an equity playhouse, and that. And it, correct me where I'm wrong here, because that means you guys are part of the Theater Actors Union, right? That is correct. correct. Yes. And so that means this is this isn't like regular community theater for you guys. This mm. is real. It's actual, real professional theater. We, when you put on a show, we make sure you guys get paid. The whole staff, the whole crew gets play, paid. More importantly, that also means you get to have some pretty awesome shows, and we get them really before anyone else, right? That's right. Uh, you guys have an incredible resource here in Albuquerque, uh, Dennis Gromelski. He is the son of a playwright uh, from New York, and so... Dennis, your dad is a playwright? Well... His dad, yeah, wow. And so... we got to talk about that later. I, didn't, I had no idea. Is that, I wonder how he got into theater. As a chi he's child... He's always been like the local big theater dude. He's amazing. He yeah. knows all of the playwright agents in New York okay. and a lot of the playwrights. That explains it. Yeah. Because you guys got this new show, The Disgrace Show. Mm -hmm. It won the Pulitzer. It won all these other major, major awards. And mm -hmm. we're the first ones to get it in the whole nation, right? Yep. yep. Yeah. Well, after New York. Right. But, yeah. like, first one to get the community rights to this thing, right? Yeah, and that's, that's rare for a small town like New Mexico. It's really kind of this, this odd little amazing oasis of theater in a place where there, you wouldn't expect it. So I'm happy to be here. Right. And th th you guys wouldn't be here if we, if we hadn't landed this show, right? Well, uh, th you know, actually, Fusion attracts a lot of really outstanding new plays. And that's <sighs> of deep interest to me. So I, I came out for the other place. Uh, mm -hmm. A Char White play about a year and a half ago, and disgraced again. Exciting piece of theater. So this one, it's it's kind of different. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, <coughs> it's uh, it's about a couple. One is I'm a, of a Muslim background, but I'm an apostate, so I've renounced my faith, and I'm I'm really have issues with it. But my wife is a, a painter and she has latched on to Islam as the inspiration for her work and it's taken in, her into new and exciting territories. So there's a bit of a clash there. It's about being Muslim in American society, but it's really more about the relationships between the us and Between two characters. Mm -hmm. Very and cool. and there's two other characters, one that I work with and one that is in the art world that come into our home and there's some conflict there as well. And yeah. Very cool. So this so is this one of those uh, you know, when we talk about plays we have, when we have theater folks on too, they say that we, they were totally attracted to it because of the characters. Sometimes they say they were attracted to it because of the script, sometimes because of the playwright themselves. Mm -hmm. what, what is it about you guys? What made you interested in this one? First, um, first, it was the company. Mm. First, it was the, everything that I n had heard about Fusion. Is this your theater. first time working with Fusion? My first time. I, there's a director in Portland. Her name is Elizabeth Huffman, who has worked a lot with Fusion. And she knew about this play and knew that they were looking for someone for this part. And we're friends back in Portland. And so she hooked me up. I auditioned on videotape, which is in, like a relatively new thing that actors are doing. And a lot of actors are booking a lot of work just by auditioning on tape. That's great. And that's how I got here. That's cool. I, I like the Skype ad audition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have the FaceTime audition. Can you do that? I, yeah, I've had both. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. And for you, was it, was it, did you say, oh my God, I got to be in this show? Or was it great? Well, this is Fusion. What was it? It's Fusion. It's the amazing production work that they do here. They support the actors beautifully. The director, Jackie Reed, is brilliant. Uh, so that's been, that's been a delight. And, working with her. And the play is is really, really in interesting and thought-provoking. And the playwright, Ayad Akhtar, is a hot playwright right now. And I did another play of his called The Invisible Hand in Portland. It was a co-production with Artist Repertory Theater, of which I'm a company member, and Act Theater in Seattle. So is this, once you've already done a, a play by somebody, do you spot the same kind of pacing, the same kind of lines, the same kind of, do you, can you Definitely. fall into a character easier that way? He's a really smart guy. So it, the first thing you notice is that all the characters in this play are really, really, really smart. Um, uh, the other play was also about, it was about a, a an economic expert who was American, who was kidnapped and held hostage by an Islamic group. Wow. And they were using him to raise money for their activity. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of the same, same themes. He grew up Muslim, and so that's all 
at the forefront. So he's of all writing his work. about his own personal experiences and things he knows and kind of relating them yeah. in many ways. Very cool. Is it different when a guy like that writes a part for a woman? You know, I think that he writes women beautifully. Um, it, he's he's really got a, a subtle sense of uh, the attraction and the power struggles that happen in male female relationships. Um, how there is always kind of this, uh, <laughs> well, not always, but oftentimes, men like to think that they have the final word on the truth. Mm. And it's. What it's do you think, John? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, John. Let's, 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 we'll have this conversation in the parking lot way after the show. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, I think oftentimes women express themselves more in terms of intuition and feeling, and uh, Ayad Akhtar actually does that beautifully. Very cool, and the cell is a cool little spot for this for the show, right? Oh, it's wonderful. Great. It's a cool little theater for those who haven't been to the cell. It's on, it's on First Street, and it's, a, it's kind of a long, tall, skinny building, mm -hmm. and it's it, really interesting. It's a great theater space, but you can set it up in all kinds of different ways. Yeah. I've seen it set up as a theater in the round. I've seen it set up with a traditional proscenium. Which way did we set it up for this one? Well, it's it's not it's neither in the round or proscenium. It's sort of there's going to be we're here and the audience is all around here. Cool, like a half moon yeah. Yeah. around the stage. Yeah, that's and very cool. It's very intimate. I mean, you know, is, it, is this is this a script that has to be filmed that, that has to be presented like that? I think it would be best presented like that. Mm. You know, I I uh, I'm one of the few people that complain about going to Broadway shows because I think the houses are too big. Right. Like I like to be able to see if the actor is blushing, mm -hmm. and in a theater like Fusion, you could do that. You right. can you can I mean, please don't reach out and touch it. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you could. It's such a nice luxury to be able to have small, quiet, intimate moments and know that the people in the third row, which is the back row, can still see it. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, when you go to one of the big, large playhouses and you're there sharing it with, you know, 5,000 of your best friends, right. you, there's no way you can get the same kind of experience, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, cool. Well, the show will be, let's see here on the notes, it's at the, it starts September 10th and runs through September 25th, uh, fusionnm.org. I'm going to be back in a couple of seconds with the folks from the escape room. Did you know about this? No, but I was excited to hear it's about it. It's cool, because they have... <laughs> It's this room, and you go in, and there's a mystery, and yeah, can't wait to see. We get some video of it. Should be fun. Excellent. All in the morning brew with the morning brew with friends.